Beauty. Beauty is an intrinsic value, like honor, glory, love, justice, excellence, and other noble values. Beauty is an end in itself and does not need to serve any other purpose. Humanity has always been enamored by beauty, whether it is found in nature, in art, in architecture, in music, in fashion, in design, or in humans themselves. Beauty is valued and cherished. Beauty inspires. It attracts. It invigorates the soul. It elevates the senses and passions. It deeply affects the human spirit. Beauty is powerful. Many people decide to go out in nature, decorate their homes and workplaces with art, purchase homes with great architecture, walk in and around buildings with great architecture, play or listen to music, wear good clothes, purchase nicely designed products, and spend time with good-looking people, not for any ulterior purpose, but simply for the sake of beauty. Beauty has an inspiring and invigorating effect on the spirit. Beauty elevates the senses and passions. Spending time in the beauty of nature can inspire new thoughts and creative ideas. Surrounding oneself in a beautiful environment can invigorate the soul and drive one towards discovering and achieving one's will. Playing or listening to beautiful music has a similar invigorating effect on the soul. Wearing beautiful clothes or using beautiful devices can heighten one's senses and lead one to become more aware and alive. Spending time with beautiful people can ignite one's passions and drive one towards a higher and more energetic existence. Beauty is thus a source of power. It powers the human spirit through inspiration, invigoration, heightened senses, ignited passions, and pushes one towards a higher and greater existence. Those who are inspired and invigorated have more creativity and energy to carry out their will. Those with heightened senses and ignited passions are more alive and full of life, and will be more driven to achieve their desires. One must be more alive to have wills and desires in the first place. Surrounding oneself with beauty is not the only way beauty serves as a source of power. Possessing beauty is another way beauty serves as a source of power. One can possess beauty itself, that is, beauty in one's body, mind, and spirit, and one can also possess beautiful things. In the case of possessing beauty itself, it needs to be said that one is not exactly possessing beauty, but one is simply beautiful, as the body, mind, and spirit make up a being, and one cannot possess what one simply is. Many still equate being beautiful with possessing beauty, and use the two phrases interchangeably. Hence the need for explanation. A beautiful body is a source of power. It is first of all a reflection of the body's fitness, its strength, health, and well-being, as will be discussed in the next section. Physically fit bodies are inherently beautiful, as they embody the human form at its peak and prime, the human body at its best. A beautiful body goes hand in hand with strength, health, and well-being. And has all the benefits of those qualities, which will later be discussed. But there are also other ways the body's beauty serves as a source of power. A beautiful body possesses tremendous social power and has a strong psychological effect on others. Beautiful people inspire awe, admiration, and respect in others. They are viewed more positively and captivate others' attention. Beauty has charisma, charm, and elegance. Humans naturally appreciate beauty and gravitate towards the beautiful. Beautiful people can and should take advantage of the many social benefits of beauty to not only increase social influence, but to also exercise social power to transform will into reality. Perhaps where the social power of a beautiful body is strongest is in sexual attraction and seduction. First, let's dispense with the false dichotomy between the face and the body. That has been adopted by so many people in today's world. The face is a part of the body. It may be one of the most noticeable parts of the body, and it may have a disproportionately strong role in the social power of the body, but it is still a part of the body. Thus, simply the term "body" will be used, which should be understood as including the face. As discussed in the previous paragraph, there are many social benefits that come with a beautiful body. 
but when it comes to sexual attraction and seduction, the magnitude of these benefits are multiplied. Physical beauty is highly valued and sought after in mate selection. It reflects the genetic and physical fitness of a prospective mate, which is essential to producing children of high genetic quality and taking care of them after birth. Thus, it is perfectly natural, healthy, and proper to place a high value on beauty when it comes to mate selection. Beautiful people will have more power in attracting and seducing prospective mates because prospective mates naturally desire to mate with beautiful people. This power fulfills one of the most powerful and fundamental human desires, the sexual desire, and so is highly valuable and should not be trivialized. Of course, there are other factors at play in the mating game, but beauty is an extremely important one. Many people today use the phrases outer beauty and inner beauty to distinguish between physical beauty and the beauty of a person's non-physical qualities. These non-physical qualities are simply the mind and spirit of the person. I dislike the phrases outer beauty and inner beauty because they are used to separate the body from the mind and spirit and treat them as separate entities when they are all one. This video may discuss each of these elements individually, but it emphasizes that the body, mind, and spirit are one and inseparable. Fitness of body is linked to fitness of mind and spirit, and so beauty of body is linked to beauty of mind and spirit. The mind is responsible for thinking, planning, deciding, and is the executive center of a being. Beauty of mind is not necessarily the same as intelligence. Though, all else equal, higher intelligence is more beautiful than lower intelligence. However, the quality of thoughts and mentality of the mind matter very much as well. High intelligence that produces negative thoughts, demoralizing thinking, neurotic mentality, the fetus mindset, and perverted ideas is much uglier than a lower intelligence that produces positive thoughts, uplifting thinking, healthy mentality, triumphant mindset, and virtuous ideas. The latter reflects a beautiful love of life, while the former reflects an ugly hatred of life. A beautiful mind is one that is positive, uplifting, healthy, triumphant, and virtuous. It is a mind that is optimistic, only then can level of intelligence add to its beauty. An ugly mind is one that, if it isn't full of hatred of life, is devoid of the passionate spirit of life. No amount of intelligence can make up for a mind that hates life or is devoid of life. It will always remain ugly. Likewise, a beautiful spirit is one that is full of life, full of passion. The spirit is the transcendental essence of a being. It transcends the physical elements of a being, the body and mind, but at the same time is intimately connected to them. Higher qualities such as determination, strength of will, discipline, resilience, perseverance, and bravery all come from the spirit and has an immense effect on people's trajectory in life and ability to transform will into reality. Beautiful minds and beautiful spirits are sources of power that can fuel people with the morale, passion, and vitality to achieve what they want. A beautiful mind with positive thoughts and a healthy mentality is important to maintain morale in any endeavor. A beautiful spirit that is determined, strong in will, disciplined, resilient, persevering, and brave is an incredible force that can achieve incredible things. Like beautiful bodies, beautiful minds and beautiful spirits also have social power. People naturally gravitate towards the positive thoughts and healthy mentality that come from a beautiful mind, as well as the noble qualities that come from a beautiful spirit. Leaders should be able to inspire hope and boost morale. Leaders should be able to be noble examples that uplift their followers and win their admiration and respect. Beautiful minds and beautiful spirits empower leaders to accomplish these tasks. That is why they can be so powerful for leaders to carry their followers to achieve whatever purpose they are striving towards. They are also powerful because people naturally seek such qualities in leaders and will gravitate towards those with these qualities for leadership, which means those with beautiful minds and beautiful spirits have an advantage in attaining social influence and leadership positions. Moreover, this beauty of mind and spirit is simply more attractive because it makes other people feel better 
and is more admirable, respectable, and noble. Thoughts, emotions, and spiritual energy are contagious. It is natural for people to want to spend time with those who make them feel good, and those they admire and respect. That is why a beautiful mind and beautiful spirit is also attractive for all sorts of relationships, from family to friendship to romance. As said before, the beauty of the body, the mind, and the spirit are intimately connected. A healthy body produces healthy signals for the mind to produce positive thoughts and a healthy mentality. A strong body is linked to a strong spirit, for the spirit of the person arises from what the person is, and in this case, strong. Moreover, the exercise and training it takes to strengthen the body also exercises and trains the spirit to become stronger, for it takes determination, strength of will, discipline, resilience, and perseverance to consistently exercise and train the muscles and push the limits of the body to build strength. A beautiful mind that produces positive thoughts, uplifting thinking, healthy mentality, triumphant mindset, and virtuous ideas fuels the morale, life, and passion of a beautiful spirit. Such a mind also benefits the body, as there are many physical benefits to a positive state of mind, as will be discussed later. Additionally, a positive and healthy mind also encourages one to live in a more positive and healthy way, increasing the fitness and beauty of the body. A beautiful spirit is one that is full of life and full of passion, which is important for both mental and physical well-being. It would be difficult for the mind to reflect a beautiful love of life when the spirit is not also full of life and passion, and a body that is not exerting itself that is not striving towards the dreams, goals, and passions that come from a lively spirit, would not be in an optimal state. Strength, health, passion, vitality, and beauty are all interlinked. Finally, possessing beautiful things also serves as a source of power. In addition to allowing one to surround oneself with beauty, the power of which has already been discussed, the possession of beautiful things has a strong social power. They inspire awe, admiration, and respect in others. That is one of the reasons why emperors and kings throughout history built beautiful palaces and wore beautiful clothes. They convey the glory of the monarch and strengthen the monarch's authority in the eyes of the people. Aesthetics are a form of communication, and beautiful aesthetics can communicate power and glory, which people naturally seek in leaders. Power and glory also intimidates enemies which strengthens the power of those who are able to convey them. When it comes to business, businesses with more beautiful aesthetics, whether in stores or in logos or in media, or in the products themselves, will be more attractive for consumers than if they had uglier aesthetics. People naturally gravitate towards beautiful things, which means beauty also strengthens the power of businesses who possess it, allowing them to attract more customers and make bigger profits. It also allows businesses to charge higher prices, as people are willing to pay a premium for beauty. Beauty is powerful.